What's going on, guys? Infinite Smarticles Gaming, and we're back, ready to slap, with another Monster Hunter video. And today, that's right, we're talking top 10 Switch Axe weapon designs, with a few honorable mentions. So, basically, what we've got here, I've explained it before, this is the third video today, you get what's happening. But if this is your first video that you're watching of my top 10 weapon design videos, basically what we're doing is going through what my top 10 weapon designs are in the game. We're not doing this based off of sharpness. We're not doing this based off of uh, uh, weapon affinity. We're not doing this based off of how rapid morph works on my switch axe. We're not doing this based off of, ooh, this looks good with this mix set. It works good with these decorations. We're doing this strictly based on design. Design, design, design. Color, look, shape, whatever. The design of the blade itself. Every weapon's got an equal chance. There are, you know, ten weapons or so that pop out to me. And those are the ones that are mentioned in this video. Of course, with this one, I... It was so close with the top 10 in the Switch Axe video that I couldn't decide and settle with just 10. I had to put a few more in there as honorable mentions because they were just that awesome. Let's go ahead and start with number 10. The Parting Slice, the Mizutsune Switch Axe Blade, is beautiful. It looks like uh, something that you might hold up at a parade, uh, like uh, one of those... Uh, banners or whatever on a stick i don't i don't know what they're called um but it's got you know writing on it there um i i think this one looks very cool and it morphs into the uh the, the blade mode it looks very lovely very lovely the pink and purple the colors of mizutsune mizutsune's blades have their own special type of um awe-inspiringness to them and this one Managed to make it into my top 10, even though I must admit I love all the Mizutsune weapons. Number 9. The Daybreak Salveris. That's right, Aknosam Switch Axe making it into my top 10. Um, basically, based on looks here, I love the Aknosam Switch Axe. Um, of course, this would be a, a perfect example of a weapon that's not useful near the end game. Um, but. It's got a lovely design to it. The color looks just like that of uh, Aknosam's little uh, um, crest on the top of his head. Uh, when it switches to the axe mode, um, the color kind of separates throughout the blade, which looks really nice. Or when it switches to blade mode from axe mode. Um, but yes, this one is very lovely. Definitely worthy of number nine. Number eight, Camellios' Balor's Mirage. Love this. Love this. <laughs> it looks very cool. It frankly looks like a staff, uh, more than it does an axe. Something you might see in a Magical Girl anime or something like that. But definitely, definitely like the design. Um, when it switches to the axe mode, it or when it, oh god, when it switches from the axe mode to the blade mode, it makes a lot more sense instead of just seeing it in axe mode but it does look very awesome and i love this one didn't i must admit i didn't use this one a lot in combat when fighting with switch axe but i do like the design nevertheless number seven the scully betis i think i'm pronouncing that right anyway this one is very lovely um, got a complex design going here, which makes it all the more attractive. You've got, um, the axe mode has got, you know, sharp, spiky teeth almost on the end of it there to do the damage with. And switching it from the sword mode, from the axe mode, um, you're able to see the blade come out. And this design then separates and goes throughout the blade. And like I said, a lot of these look beautiful in sword mode i just don't have pictures of them in sword mode um but you are definitely welcome to power up monster hunter rise go in there and look at them transfer from sword to axe mode they look incredible and i will say that 
for me, the Switch Axe is my second most used weapon in the Monster Hunter series. Um, Greatsword being the first, Switch Axe being the second, Charge Blade being the third. Um, those three weapons I use a lot. So I do have a lot of playtime with using these weapons and looking at how they work. And this one here is very nice when switched back and forth. It looks amazing in the axe mode, obviously, as you can see here, but it looks even better in sword mode. Number six. This is from the feline tree, the Grimmage Katz. Of course, I love the design of all the feline weapons, especially the blades. Um, this one here looks just gnarly. <laughs> It's got sharp, you know, teeth where the cat's ears are here in the picture. You can see the cat with an evil smile on his face. Um, definitely would be afraid to uh, go up against whoever, whatever cat that is on that picture. Um, but this one here has got a nice metallic design, a metal machine-like design. Um, the axe blade, the axe part looks very nice. Switching into the sword mode, it looks even better. I dare say the axe mode looks just as good as the sword mode, but of course when you switch to the sword mode, the design of that weapon then is no longer just focused in one spot, but it's focused more throughout the blade as a whole. Number six, that is a lovely weapon. And number five, Magnamalo Sinister Shadow Slice. What I love about the design of this one is that cord, wire, whatever you want to call it, that attaches the axe to the handle because you can see how the magnum Olive blade switches from an axe to a sword you see you know what mechanisms are being moved how it's being moved um just based on that one little cord there i think that is a very unique design definitely worthy of the top five in this case wonderful awesome Number four, the Doombringer Axe. That's right, Almadron coming back again with his weapons. And wow, does it look awesome. The Axe Mode, of course, a lot of the Almadron weapons seem to have a lot of curve in them. You know, the Longsword had a lot of curve in it. Um, the Switch Axe here has got a lot of curve in it. I think this is very nice with the little circle on the end, though, you know, if we're being practical, we don't think a circle is going to do a lot of damage unless it's got a sharp edge to it. We're going to assume it does. Switching this one from sword mode, from axe mode to sword mode, um, the design then moves toward the end of the blade, and you can see, you know, the. Of course, you can see it now, but you can see it even clearer: the yellow, the gray, the red that are really. Um, known for the Almadron weapons at this point. Those three colors there just uh, flowing in and out of each other, complementing each other, and reminding you of Almadron. Number three, the Axe of Wisdom. That's right. If there's another monster that's got weapons throughout my top ten, other than Almadron, it's Bishatan. The Bishatan weapon is gorgeous. It's lovely. The colors, the blue, the lighter blue, and that gold... Those three colors are in almost all of Bishatan's weapons. Um, this axe mode is very beautiful with the colors there. I I, I love the colors. <laughs> I absolutely love the colors that they picked for Bishatan. I love the colors that then translated from Bishatan to his weapons. And it makes just wonderful weapon designs. Absolutely wonderful weapon designs. Number two, I was alluding to this one in my Gunlance video earlier today the Delex Cleaver using the Delex with the switch axe this looks like a weapon from a seaside village you know something that you're like okay yep everybody in this village that's along the coastline definitely has a switch axe at the house that definitely looks something like this um, of course I do know that from what I've learned that Delex are third generation monsters um, and from what I learned the Switch Axe also made its first appearance in the third generation um, this I mean to me this looks like it's from the third generation 
that is cool. It looks very cool. I love that the Delex fin is used for the blade in the axe mode. This is one where the axe mode to me is better, slightly better than the sword mode. Um, of course, both modes look awesome, but I love how the axe mode looks in this with the fin being the blade for the axe mode. And number one, um, nope, this isn't number one. This is an honorable mention. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and of course I completely forgot, I've got a few that I absolutely loved, but I didn't have a place to put them in my top 10. The Petal Cloud is one of them. I think this is from the Origami Tree near the bottom by the Rampage Tree. This one, it looks cool. It looks, you know, like a, what a, a Petal Cloud. Um, pink, of course, if it is indeed an Origami Tree, Practically, it wouldn't hold up against any monster. Uh, it wouldn't hold up against the rain. But, <laughs> nevertheless, it does look very awesome. The Congress. This one is so nice. It's so cool. This one complements um, the colors. Make this one seem like a very expensive Switch Axe to use. Uh, something that you would get as a gift maybe from the guild. I don't know. But it seems like it's a very uh, lofty looking switch axe that somebody with a lot of prestige would carry around. And then the Rampage Slicer S. The first and only time I used the Rampage uh, weapon in my top 10 video. I like this one because you know, obviously the Rampage and Kimura trees are identical only with a bit of change in color. And that's what I like about this one. I love the design of the Kuruma um, Switch Axe. However, I like the Rampage Slicer a lot because I can change the color to whatever color I want it to be. Um, and of course, in this situation, this axe mode on this Switch Axe takes up a lot of space. That color that you pick is going to be seen very well with the Switch Axe in axe mode more than it would in any of the other designs of any of the other weapons. Um, simple as that. I can make the color what I want it to do. I can give the design a big boost from my own taste because I can, you know, do what I want to with the weapon. And then because of the radius of how much you can change, it's seen and looked at by a lot of people. Anyway, those are the honorable mentions. Now, number one, we've got the Fall Dra Draki. I love this one. You're probably going to know why. Oh, in sword mode, this one looks absolutely sick. Absolutely incredible. Of course, you can see the chains, the teeth, uh, the gears that, that you use to switch this one between axe and sword mode. And of course, as I mentioned with the Magnum Hollow Blade, I really like that because you can see the inner workings of the switch axe and how it switches between axe mode and sword mode. But of course, this Dragon Elemental Blade here looks and feels incredible uh, when you're fighting with it. Um, very satisfying. It's a very thick blade. Uh, it's not thin. It's a very, very thick blade. Um, it's got, you know, the, the, that machine feel to it as well, and I really like that. This one, by far, is my favorite uh, Switch Axe, and probably would go in a top ten list somewhere of my favorite all-time weapons um, ever. Anyway, that is my top ten Switch Axe list with a few honorable mentions. Let me know what you think. Let me know which ones you would have added. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.